boring, boring, boring. Welcome yeah, back, right. folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Shut Edition, The Shadows yeah. of Arm. And way last we left off, we managed to find a loophole in a magic contract that meant that we could open the chest containing the tooth we needed without doing battle with the Spectator Beholder. And I'm very glad for that, as the Spectator Beholder is awesome. We then fought our way through the City of Caverns, I would say that we explored it, but pretty much everywhere that we went, we had a combat. And now we've got to here, an arena, not like the arena we fought in before. The descriptive text for the arena gives you a clue as to what kind of threat you're going to be facing within. A putrid wave of air rushes over you as you gaze about this hellish room. Rotten corpses of all shapes and sizes lie in the bloody, stagnant water. We're going to be fighting undead, yes, but not just any undead. Undead that you pretty much only find in this area, the City of Caverns. And that's why I'm going to be having a new spells cast on Terry. Namely, Negative Plane Protection and Death Ward. Death Ward is just a extra precaution. It's the Negative Plane Protection that I'm most concerned about. We're then going to get Baconia to step stream. away, and then I'm going to attract the attention Nothing. of the people within. You shall not escape this place, mortals. Prepare to join us. The reason why I have that uh, negative plane protection is for that. That is a ranged level drain, and we do not want that to hit Terry and drain levels away, especially considering these enemies can be quite tricky. And then there's this surprise. When the sea zombie lord dies, it unleashes a cloud kill, which is quite nasty, especially if you go into that arena and fight all the undead there. You will take a lot of damage really quickly, and before you know it, you're all doomed. Let's have you grab that, and we'll have you grab all of these. There are two antidotes here, and one potion of extra healing. I won't say no to another potion of extra healing. It can go into the pile of them that we have, and the antidotes can go there. There are more undead in here, but I'm going to wait until the cloud kill goes before I go and engage them. Alternatively, they can decide to walk over to us, which is fantastic. And it would be quite cool if we could dual wield you, Lilacore. Unfortunately, the game's not going to be generous enough to let that happen. Alas, I know, but what can you do? Now in 3.5, I could dual wield you if I took a few feats. Get lots of negatives to attack, but who would care about that? Dual wielding Lilacore with another intelligent weapon. Like in Serek, for instance. And here are the final three. A Lacedon, a Greater Lacedon, and a Sea Zombie. Let's deal with the Greater Lacedon first, then the Lacedon, and then the Sea Zombie. There is another scroll. And finally, nothing. But we did get some experience, and I won't say no to that. With that done, let's head back over here and see if we get attacked by any Rebel Sahuagin on our way to progress. We may do. I think there may be one group that respawn roughly uh, in this area. I don't remember where all of them are, but I do remember that there's one close by. Let's go over here. Nobody yet. Nobody over here either. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I needed to rest for that uh, encounter to reappear. Either way, I'm not going to say no to getting over to here quite quickly and easily. But before I go down these stairs, I'm going to switch in some ranged weaponry. Why? Because we're about to get into a combat where we can't attack in melee. What would you have? We'll have you uh, use that. We'll have you use this. I'm busy. Okay, I'm we busy. could even have you use some crimson darts, but we're not going to. We're just going to have you stay put. Maconia, you can use the sling, and here we go. There are two Sahuagin here. We're going to attack with all our ranged weapons and have you move forward a little bit. Oh, you picked the wrong fight, didn't you? Oh, that you did. That's one taken care of, and time to take care of the other one. You were lucky then. 
I'm not sure that Sahuagin was lucky, Dawn. That Sahuagin perished very quickly. No gold, but we did get some more bolts of biting and more paralytic bolts. But I won't say no to more of them. Soon we'll have a full pile of them. Now let's have you switch back to be invisible, and we'll move forward and find the other Sahuagin. Now we could engage these in melee, but I'm actually going to attack a range here. Because there are more of them, some of which we can't actually attack in melee. So why not pick these ones off at range, and then focus on the ones that we have to use ranged combat on. And I keep selecting Edwin. Don't want you to engage in melee, Edwin. Look at how vicious our team is, even at range. We can deal a lot of damage. Not as quickly as we deal it uh, up close and personal, but we can still do it. And there are those two that you can't engage in melee. But they won't last very long against our combined onslaught. And only uh, one of the uh, party here is actually using any ammunition, and that's Terry. And now they're all gone. Bleh. Yes. Time for you to identify lots of things, namely bolts. At this point, I'm surprised we even need Edwin to identify these, but they might just look like bolts of biting and paralytic bolts and not in fact be those things. But they are. We'll have you switch back to that, we'll have you switch back to this weapon, and we'll have you switch back to Lilacor, because we're going to be doing some resting. You'd think it wouldn't be safe to rest here, but it's perfectly safe to rest, even though we are so close to where the rebels are situated. We just have to go beyond this door. This door may seem unassuming, but it is the door that is magically guarded. Also, there appears to be a uh, pile of bolts that we can't uh, grab with Edwin. Where are those bolts? Hmm. Oh well, you're gonna have to grab them, I suppose, and then pass them over to Edwin. Or maybe you can identify them. No, no you can't. Of course you can't. Your law skill isn't high enough, and that's a shame. More bolts of biting, more paralytic bolts. Does that actually uh, yeah. make you visible? I'm curious. Oh, all right. The answer is no. Hmm. No it doesn't. I must have been doing something else to make you visible before. Now let us save before we go through this door, and see just what the uh, Rebel Prince wants from us. I think I can imagine what the Rebel Prince wants, but it is worth checking. You have the orb, surface creature. This means only that the most sacred Zenayili could have given it to you. She has sent us word of your intentions. Do you wish to be brought to the Honorable Villinati, he who has saved us? I am willing to lead you to him, surface beast. Take me to see him, but I shall remain on guard against any treachery, so do not try anything. It is not our intention to commit violence against you, surface being, but we certainly put no trust in you, as you have no trust in us. No matter, follow me and I shall take you to the prince. Having the orb means we avoid a fight here, and that's always good. Unfortunately, it brings us to a place where we're surrounded by people. Here. So it seems the surface creatures we have heard so much about have finally come to save us. Are these the ones that your mother spoke of, Salinithil? They are, most honorable Vilinati. The most sacred Senate Yili was most specific in her description. Ha! Huh. I do not think the description had to be all that specific. As if they would be anyone else, ugly as they are. Their flesh, it is so soft and scaleless. But your hideous appearance means little, as does this nonsense about secular sending you as Salin Ithil and her mother seem to believe so strongly. What matters is that Mad Ixtetokl has sent you surface beings to collect my heart. He is so certain of your success that now is the perfect time to strike. We have a heart, surface human. A heart that you can return with to Ixtetokl and claim as Villinati's. The guard of the city of Caverns will be down, and we will be able to strike. Do not attack any guards. 
This will tip off Ix the Tockle to your treachery. Wait for our attack, then launch your own assault on the king and his baron. I will come as soon as I can. Once Ix the Tockle and Thelacassil are dead, I shall take the throne of the city of Caverns. The madman shall be dead. And the city of Cavern shall be saved with the return of its exiled blood. Yes, yes, whatever. The throne is what is important here. So, surface creature, assuming that you are capable of intelligent thought, do you agree to this plan? Or shall we be forced to engage in simple slaughter? Bah! Your king has offered us a gilded ransom and then some. We care not for your cause, boyo. If we takes it up for you, will you offer us better than your king? Corgan is thinking along the right lines here. We need an incentive to betray the king. Bah, you get to live, you hideous, finless thing. Is that not enough for you? Most honorable Villinati, we are trying to gain the cooperation of these creatures. We need their help. Do not... Do not agitate them, I beg of you. Secular grants power to those who take it, not those who rely on the assistance of weaker beings. How can you believe that Secular has sent them? <sighs> but an attack is impossible without them. Very well. I suppose some reward is called for, but I have nothing to give until the throne is taken. How do I know you'll keep your word then, after it is done? I haven't given you my word, creature. You shall be rewarded as I see fit, no better. Do not seek to be presumptuous. At least Villinati is straightforward in that regard. Can't you and the king come to a peaceful resolution? You have met Ix the Tockle. What do you think, haired one? If, of course, you are capable of coherent thought. No, there can be no peaceful resolution. The king is mad. He does not see reason, and that will be his undoing. Will I be free to go once this is over? Of course. Your kind does not belong here with us, and we are not like the vicious drow that we would turn even on those who would offer to help us. After Ix the Tockle is dead and you have been given your reward, you may leave the city of Caverns and go off to the Underdark. If that is your wish. It most certainly is not our wish, but we really don't have many other options. We can hardly go up, there isn't a boat waiting for us, and we would simply drown in the ocean. So the only way out is down. Now we could decide that we're just going to refuse because we don't trust Villinati, and there are many things to tell us that we shouldn't trust him. He's not given us his word that he's going to give us anything if we help him. But on the other hand, we are currently working for a king who is mad, and could decide at a moment's notice that he's bored of us and just wants us sacrificed. So we're actually going to take Prince Villinati's offer here, and agree to the plan. I agree to your plan then. I shall return to the king with your fake heart. Maybe you are intelligent enough, for a surface species. Take this heart and bring it to Ix the Tockle. I shall set up my forces and prepare for the attack. This is the only way to save our people, human. I pray that you are indeed the one promised by Sekola, and that we shall all meet with success. We have been given an item. The Fake Rebel's Heart. This is a fresh Sahuagin heart. With luck, the king will accept it as that of the prince. We're not done here, though. There's something else I want to do. As you can see, people are already perishing. Royal High Priestess Senate Yilly and Captain Philatis. They are both dead. That is all because we decided to side with Villinati. Hmm. But before we go, there's an item that Villinati has that we want. And to get it, we're going to engage in some pickpocketing. It worked the first time. And the second time. That's why I've been raising my pickpocketing skill. We got a ring. That's not important. This is important, though. 
the Wave Blade. This is a piece of the Wave, a powerful halberd created as a weapon of vengeance by a cult worshipping Umberly. It apparently draws water out of its victims and is able to slay creatures of fire almost instantly. Tales say the Wave was lost long ago to the fire giants of the Stormhorn Mountains, but was eventually found by the adventurer Argonon of the Long Reach. He either lost the weapon to a wager in the plainer city of Sigil, or it rests with his bones when the ship was sunk during a great storm in the Sea of Swords. No one knows for sure. We've read most of that before. But this is not the shaft of the wave. It is the blade. We have all the pieces we need to fix up that weapon when we get back to Athcatla. Now, we could have got that off Villinati by killing Villinati. But we're going for what we hope is a slightly better outcome. Maybe we'll get an even bigger reward for siding with the Rebel Prince. Or we might just get the same reward that we would have got for siding with Ixten Tokol. As well as the thing that we stole. We wouldn't have got that had we not have stole it. I'm not going to say no to extra treasure. Or the guarantee that we're going to get out of here. So let us make our way back to the king and pretend that we did everything that he asked us to do. Let's just ignore the fact that we saw that Senate Yili and the captain died. We shouldn't really know that. That's just the game engine going, hey, these events happen, so they happened. Just ignore that. Everything's going to be fine. It's not going to be fine, is it? No, it's probably not. Let us wait here. And we're going to do a little bit of buffing. Just a little bit. It's not like I think there's going to be a fight or anything. Oh wait, there's probably going to be a fight. And there's a door there that we've not yet opened. Maybe Most that door will lead to treasure. I know, I know. We're still in the city of Caverns, Dawn. It's not something you're happy about, I know. Now let us uh, get a similar crew ready. There we go. Now we are going to haste everyone, like so. And then we are going to get one Berserk Be quick with and a second Berserk. And I think yeah. we're good to go, to apart from the fact that I want you to be invisible. If you say Let's go in and say hi. Oh, oh, it is my surface human. Come to me once again. And does it have... Why, yes. I think I smell the ichor of a rebel. You have the heart with you. Yes, 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 yes! I knew this was coming. Yes, I did. My men reported your return, and I asked Sekular if it was done, and he told me that it was. So I sacrificed a few hatchlings and a guard to the shark father, and I had the rest of the guards prepare for the festival. There will be a feast tonight! Not that we were planning on feasting on you, my favorite little human. Oh, no, no. You weren't planning on eating my human, were you, Baron? Uh, no. No, I wasn't planning on it, most honorable Ix the Tockle. And this is why we really shouldn't trust the king. They were planning on eating us. Liar. I heard you talking earlier. So go be a good Baron and get the reward for my little human here. It has certainly deserved one, oh yes. Most exalted one, alarm, alarm! The rebels, the prince, they have crept into the city of caverns and they are attacking! What? You, you have betrayed me, my human! This cannot be! I told you that the surface beasts could not be trusted. Oh, shut up! Theo Castle, Just kill them! Kill them! I want all of their heads on my plate! And now it is time to attack the king. We'll have you attack the king, you attack the king, you attack the king. You're gonna start shooting arrows at the Baron. In fact, you're going to attack the Baron as well. We're going to have you attack here. We're going to have you fire off a chain lightning over, I think, Let's see, who are we going to attack? We'll uh, focus it on you, and Victory we'll have you just ours. fire off some uh, sling bullets here. Have at thee! Oh my, the king has fallen already. 
you. I was expecting you to put up more of a fight, and you as well, Baron. Maybe I am really just that high level. We also have a spear, and a treasury key. Very nice, let's yes. quickly grab a few goodies here. There's also the fake rebel's heart there. We'll also grab this magical rope. I think we're going to deal with this before the prince can get here, and I'm not surprised about that. You're about to uh, perish? You're gone, we'll have you attack here. And I think that is pretty much everything. Yep, there are a few magical bolts here. Might as well grab them. And that there. And that encounter was extremely quick. If you're wondering if the encounter against the uh, Rebel Prince would have been as fast, it probably would have been. Now let's look at this quickly. This is Impaler plus three. The Impaler has a palpable aura of magic that hints at the vicious nature of the weapon and why it has been a favourite of several powerful orc chieftains in the past. When a victim is struck, they are, as one would guess, very nearly impaled, run through as the massive enchantment does its dirty work. It's a plus three weapon, but it has plus ten piercing damage, which is absolutely colossal. It's a very impressive weapon indeed. We'll have you hold on to them, and we'll just put this in the bag. We, we don't need it right now. I think we need to wait for the Prince to get here. Oh, there is a uh, Prince Villinati. You appear to be aggressive. Are you actually going to fight us? No, you're not. Good. City of Caverns. The mad tyrant is dead, and we are well rid of him. May Sekala gnaw upon his bones for an eternity. You have done our people a great service, human. Greater, perhaps, than you will ever know. With Ixthatokal dead, the exiles can now return to the City of Caverns. Where once our people grew weak, now they can become strong again. Hmm. Ah, that is our goal, you know, to allow the tadpoles to resume their dominant role in the world. Idiot. Sekala should have gifted them with a brain. Don't taunt them! We're just about to get out of this without getting sacrificed, Edwin. Don't ruin this! Their blood will return to mix with the old, and only together can we protect our city from the advances of the Illithid and Madrow. Ixthatokal was too mad to see what he was doing. And now the city of caverns is saved. The prophecy is completed, even if not quite the way that pale eel thought it would be, eh? We owe you a debt, human. We are unfamiliar with your kind, but you are welcome amongst us. And you did more than was asked, bearing the brunt of the battle. For that, I give you the spoils of war. Take the treasury key from Ixtatokal's corpse. Use it to enter the city's treasury and take what you will. Oh, don't worry, I've already took the key, and I'm definitely going to take lots of things. I am feeling generous today. To enter the Underdark, you need the magic rope from the king's corpse. Use it to go down the pit behind my former throne. And we get a lot of experience points, 60,050 each, and for some reason you're still counted as aggressive. Hmm. Go bother so We're gonna else. run away, and maybe we need to just open this up and loot? Yeah, I think we should. And in here is a rod, a Sahugan scribe's note, and protection from the elements. The reward we would have got for following what Ixtatokal wanted, and killing the I'm prince. Busy, okay, I'm busy. We got that reward, and we also got the wave blade, yeah, which is pretty nifty. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to move away from the prince, because for some reason the prince is apparently hostile. Me. We don't want the prince to be hostile. And we're getting attacked by another rebel! Don't know why this is happening. But, I suppose we're just going to have to fight. 
I think something's gone a little bit wrong here because we should just be allowed to leave. But that's not happening. Guess we have to fight our way out, eh? So much for the, you are welcome here. Ah, uh, what can you do? And so, when we come back, folks, we will leave the City of Caverns, and we shall go to the next chapter, to the Underdark. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Also, look at this very neat scroll. Protection from the elements. 75% resistance to all elemental attacks. And that's a pretty good scroll indeed. Go bother someone else. Later.